Hi, my name is Craig. This video is going to be about acronyms. They're basically what an acronym is, is a hidden message within a word. Um, or using words, more or less. The way that I'm going to present it is um, somewhat with combining that the way the Egyptians did it and what you can know of learning it through school and what an acronym can be. The way the Egyptians did it was on their wall, not every single symbol on their wall represented the sun or one thing, I, I should be saying, one thing. It represented one thing, but that one thing that that one symbol represented was a whole book. So in that representing that one thing, it represented a whole thing. Now, you have some of seven symbols, or I don't know if you've seen that, but you have seven symbols, and each symbol represents seven different books. So basically, the way you would go about in the Egyptian moment, that you would have to go through like schooling, priesthood, or the monastery, whatnot, how they did it to integrate you into the understanding what it means to have that book. And from my understanding, it, it takes pretty much years to understand it, to be able to pretty much integrate it and to do it fluently. Um, so that's how the Egyptians did it. So in a way, that's kind of how I did it. Because you can use an acronym to write a sentence. Now it takes the understanding of what the acronym means to of that sentence. Now you can get lucky and have your acronyms, your sentence, um, actually kind of make sense. So let me just say mine. Okay, love, word, ink. Love word ink are ego mint. So love living one vibrational experience word waves operating resource density ink inner inner navigating gateways are reaching egos energy gathering opinion mint manifesting energy now time. So, the word ing are ego mint. Now, like like I was saying, you could get lucky and have the acronyms sound like they're supposed to get be together. Like love word ink are ego mint. Now you can pretty much take it, like I said, it's from your point of view, it's from your perspective, and it's upon how ego, of what side you're looking at, from meaning of the neutrality, of taking it from neutrality and taking it from the dark side or the light side, which is really the same stick bless me, of the same thing. Because once you choose to look at one side, you choose to look at the other side as well because you're taking it, you're taking that neutrality and you're taking that stick and you're not breaking it and then taking it. You're taking that stick and you're holding one side or you're holding the other side or you can be holding the middle which is still taking it as you just taking it from neutrality, so you never took it from anything. As you, as seeing the good or the bad, you see the judgment in it. And judgment is good to the certain extent that it holds lessons of understanding, but at the same moment, it's, it takes you out of, it 
it has the potential of taking you out of your alignment and your balance and your centeredness of being neutral and being able to have a clear, direct um, decisiveness of how to make a decision. It takes really good skill and um, understanding of how to take the judgment and not to go to one polarity or an extreme to the next, to be able to take it from neutral, to say something, and then go back, not to go extremely on it. Think about it. <laughs>